Hey, welcome to Condo Help. Uh, I'm going to show you how to wire a backlight on a remote control switch for behind your TV or a closet or whatever else. I'm using a TV in this case. Uh, you can see the menu of items. We got bulbs, we got bulb holders, bulb socket, as you can see there. Um, on that wrapper, it says it has a three light level, which means it has a switch on the bulb holder itself. You don't need one. It just so happened to be the cheapest one at Walmart at the time. Um, in general though, you would want to have your positive cable or your hot cable on your switch so that when you switch it off, the circuit is definitely dead. Okay, we also have a small little three foot extension cable, which I also got at Walmart. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the sealed end of the sealed socket end and I'm gonna cut the socket off. So using my wire cutting tool here, I'm gonna take the center blade, which is a sort of a long flat blade, just about spans the width of this cable, and just chop that end off. Depending on the extension that you buy, you may see colored cables inside this one doesn't because it's a sealed unit, there's no need. Uh, but for your hot or your positive cable, you're looking generally for a red or a brown color. And for your neutral, you'll be looking for usually a black or a blue. Um, the one I'm cutting now, that center cable there, is a ground, which is usually green or gray, uh, depending on what country you're in. Uh, as you can see now, I'm using the pre-cut circular blades. Uh, I'm trying to figure out which size is the one I want. Um, and as I clip, I'm twisting my thumb and finger around twisting that cable and ch chomping on the plastic so that I can pull the plastic away from the, the wires inside. One more pull should do it, I think. Oh, one more pull. Okie dokie, there we go. Um, so now I'm gonna twist up those wires so it makes it a bit more solid. Okay, so that's both wires clipped. Now I'm gonna put on the bottom piece of my uh, bulb holder. Very important to put this on. Uh, many is a time I've wired something and forgot to put on the um, the bottom piece so that you could, you know, close the unit and I'd end up having to undo all of my work and start again. So remember this step. You'll thank me when you do. Or, you know, you'll hate me when you don't. Tight fit, but it does work. Okay, so I'm going to wire up the... Um, the wires to the terminals. Again, as I said earlier, not really important which is positive or negative here, but because I have a switch, I'm going to attach the positive to the switch terminal. Uh, so tuck it in nice and tight. I'm going to get my I'm going to get my wire cutters here to actually pull this into place properly. I need that right below the screw. I don't want any stray stuff twisted around. Tighten it up there and uh, close up the screws. So the next thing will be to cut away this uh, ground cable because it's not needed in this circuit. We won't be touching it. Uh, nothing's made of metal. Uh, it's on a remote control and these plugs also have surge protection and uh, they'll shut down if something goes wrong. All right, so it fits good. Now I'm going to insulate all of the terminals on this socket. I'm gonna wrap right around all the metal and then down along the cable, and then I'm gonna seal my unit closed. And we can move on to the next step, which will be the remote control sockets. So you'll see on the sockets, as I'm about to point out, um, each one has a number. That dark socket there, see it says number three, and on my remote I've got number three on and off. So it's pretty straightforward. I'm obviously going to use socket number one. Um, okay, so let's get the bulb in there. Give you a look at what the finished unit looks like. So nice and tight, make sure it's good connection. 
take my plug now pop it into the remote control socket and so now we have a complete um, complete circuit and I'm gonna take this I'm going to um, plug it in behind my TV and then using the remote control I'll be able to switch it on and off making a feature of the TV and the cabinet behind okay here we are in the living room um, I've got everything plugged in wired up and uh, let's try it out to see if the remote works hey there you go um, as you can see it offers some good ambient light uh, hard to see let me turn on the light here behind me and we'll, you'll get a better picture of what's going on there we go uh, so yeah as you can see it's not blinding it makes a feature of your TV maybe offers a little bit more visual space in your condo um, thanks for watching enjoy uh, putting that together and uh, have a look at the links below and uh, here in front of your face come and see the website check out Instagram and uh, stay tuned for the next video thanks guys